always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Got a lot going on in the eight-day forecast, but probably the biggest story is the fact that we're going to be going from 70 on Thursday down to the chance of snow on Saturday and Sunday. So big temperature swing. As for tonight, we also have a really neat weather story. It's an, also an astronomical one. We have a full moon tonight, and anytime you have a full moon in November, it's called the beaver moon. What makes this especially special is the fact that it's going to be undergoing a total eclipse. So tonight, if you plan on seeing it, temperatures are going to be chilly. 30 in Howard City, 32 in Ravenna, some patchy frost, light wind. Winds will eddy the east-northeast, 31 for Caledonia, 31 for Algon, 34 for Saugatuck. Near I-94, either side of freezing, 32 for Schoolcraft, 32 for Kalamazoo. And if you're planning on heading out very early tomorrow morning, especially close to around 6 a.m., well, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., you will have a chance of seeing the lunar eclipse. So just a reminder as to what the lunar eclipse is, it's when the Earth gets in between the sun and the moon. So because of that, briefly, we see the hard shadow of the Earth cast onto the moon, and it stains it blood red in secession. So it starts as just a slow fade until total eclipse for our particular lunar eclipse here. It's going to begin at 516 in the morning and then peak, become completely red at 6 in the morning finishing up at about 6.50 this uh, coming morning. So it's going to be an exciting thing to see, again, if you're an early riser. Areas close to Kalamazoo and south might have a few clouds obscuring your view, but otherwise it should be nice and quiet. Watching that system in Minneapolis, it's going to be throwing snow up into Canada. We have some winter storm watches that are in effect for the Dakotas, but we have high pressure in place, and that's going to help to keep things clear for us. And a ridge in the jet stream is also going to keep us nice and warm. We have a sprinkle near Traverse City on Wednesday. That's it. So we stay pretty dry for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we warm up substantially near 70 by Thursday, average highs for this time around 53 to down near 51 degrees. Futurecast shows that after the big warm up, we have much chillier air on the way and it slams into West Michigan starting on Saturday. This will be cold enough for a rain snow mix, even some sloppy accumulations both Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday and Tuesday, the snow fades, but we stay in the 30s. So we got a little bit of weather whiplash here, Brian, after election day. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah.